Hey everyone, welcome to Quartermaster Podcast, and today we are talking about Dutch Treat Business Meals. So we had an interesting uh, question come in. Uh, we had a client ask um, that, hey, my accountant said that I can't deduct these Dutch Treat Business Meals. So uh, let's answer that question today. Well, let's first define what a Dutch Treat is. Yep. It's not something you get at the uh, ice cream store. Uh, it's actually something that is referring to when you split your expenses. So you got, we go out to lunch. And Ryan, you take care of yours, and I take care of mine. It's considered a Dutch treat. Hmm. And so what I believe the accountant was describing, because what happened during COVID, you were able to deduct 100% of your meal expenses. And while they did that, they were trying to get businesses to go out and utilize restaurants who are really struggling during COVID. I mean, that's, that's just a fact. So they gave us a two-year window of getting 100%. But now, you know quote unquote, it's all gone. And so now they've reverted back to the 50% deduction. So, you know, <clears throat> that just means that if we go out to meal and we split it half and half, then 50%. So what the account was referring to is that because of how the law has reverted back to the way it was, that only 50% of your meal deduction is being able to, or 100%, pardon me, 50% of your meal is able to be expensed instead of 100% as it was during COVID. So because of that, that's why you may, it may be a misconstrued on his part to say, hey, you know, you can only deduct 50%. You can't deduct your guest meals. That's not correct. It's just you're able to deduct 50% of whatever you paid, mm -hmm. and you get to deduct 50%. So. Awesome. So even if you go, like I said, if you go out by yourself mm -hmm. and eat, does well, that count as well? It can if it's, if it's for business purposes. Business purposes. Yep. Gotcha. So. so like I said, you do the split essentially. Mm -hmm. So he pays or his, she pays for their own mm -hmm. meal and you pay for your own. You can deduct your own purposes as long as it's business related. Right, but you only get to use 50% of your whatever your expenses. Yeah. So let's say, for example, you, you know, you're traveling or I'm traveling and we go out and have a meal because we're on the road mm -hmm. and this is 50 bucks. Well, we get a $25 deduction. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to expense it out at $50, but when that moves from your uh, P&Ls and from your expenses over to your tax return, he's going to reduce that by 50%. That's gotcha. what the software will do. Awesome, awesome. So let's talk a little bit about yep. uh, where did the term Dutch treat come from? Well, having a brother-in-law from the uh, uh, Netherlands, Netherlands. Uh, the, yeah. I call him the Flying Dutchman, this is actually created because they refer to the Dutch as very frugal mm -hmm. or thrifty mm -hmm. or maybe tight. I don't know. I was about to say, there's, there's other not <laughs> nice words you could probably say. Yeah, yeah. so... You know, it, it came around about the 19th, 20th century, and so it's just considered that if you go Dutch, and you probably remember this when you were dating uh, or maybe uh, courting somebody, and you said, let's just go Dutch, or maybe your friends go Dutch. Everyone covers their own stuff, and you're not responsible for the other person's uh, uh, expenses. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Every time you know, like, uh, you can figure out the background or history or something like yeah. that, where it got its name from, it's always unique. To kind of hear from that. So our family could call it the Yako tree because that's yeah. what his name is, Yako. Yako, yeah. <laughs> I think Dutch is a little bit more palatable. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I have a, a, a question, Don. So basically, let's say, um, so we have a staff about 23, 22, 23 people. Um, let's say we bring all them for lunch. Can mm -hmm. we do that as well? Can we deduct those, that, that <laughs> meal? From Great question. I'm sure the waiter or waitress would be glad to hear that, you know, we're going to take it under one tab. But the reality is, we could split all these tabs up, and that's called Dutch. Everyone paying for their own, which would be a, a, wow. a nightmare for 22, 23 people. But the good news is that if, if I'm going to cover it, what's going to happen is that expense, so let's say it's you know, $500, 250 is going to be deductible. Uh, and so that's, you know, for, for business purposes, we're having our meeting, and we're covering uh, business uh, uh, information. And, oh, keep, keep in mind, too, I'm sorry, I want to add one other thing. When you do this, on your receipt, make sure you write who's present, so if it's Ryan and myself, uh, that's number one, and what the topic was, what was the business purpose. And then, you know, there's different apps out there. We use QuickBooks, whatever the case, you can take a snap of that, and that way there you have that because, like I always say, documentation is key when it comes to defending an expense. Yeah. So, And you probably want to, like he was saying, take a photo of that because those uh, receipts, they don't do well in the heat, and yep. they, they disappear. You yep. know, they get, get, they get lost all the time. Now, I do have another question. Sure. So is there a reasonable amount that you can spend on this that you can deduct <laughs> from, or is that kind of left up to, like, in the air? 
Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, there's reasonable customers. So, you know, if we go to McDonald's, <laughs> that, that's one. But if you go to a nice steak restaurant, which certainly that can, you, we take our staff out to nice places occasionally, you know, that's reasonable and customary. Again, you know, we're not going to eat at uh, Morton's every night mm -hmm. um, type of thing. And just be very careful, too, even if your spouse is a business partner uh, or maybe ownership in the business. You be very, very careful about creating every night of the week a business meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it would be somewhat difficult to defend that if you were ever audited. Not that you can't do some. I just wouldn't do every night, seven days a week, that we're going to create a business expense. Yeah, okay. so. And what, what is defined as a business expense to go out to eat so you can claim mm -hmm. that deduction? Yeah, there's got to be a business purpose. purpose. And so, yeah, you got to be talking about certain business items. So let's say, for example, a new staff member, like we have a new staff member come in, we might take them out for dinner. Or maybe, you know, you and I are having a conversation about, you know, some of the legislation that's out there. That would be construed as a business. You just make sure you put that on the receipt, what the conversation or what the purpose of the meeting was for. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Hey, make sure you go in here and hit the like button. And again, subscribe to our podcast. We try to bring every week some new information for you that you can use to help mitigate your tax liability in your business.